Hey there, Gemini, and welcome to your 227 2021 full moon in Virgo reading. We're going to take a deep dive into this reading, just like we've done for all the rest leading up to this. We're looking at around an hour plus on this reading, so get comfy. Uh, hopefully, you like in depth readings, even though this is general. The way that I work is by connecting with angels and archangels and people and their spirit guides and tribes, and mostly the angelic realms. I am an, uh, an earth angel and I do um, tap in with the angelic realms. It's how I work in the healing and the, and the channeling that I do um, and all of that. If you don't know who I am, my name is Infinity. I'm a psychic, physical empath, medical medium, um, astral guide, ascension coach, distance healer. I work with animals and people worldwide. I have a few eBooks on my uh, website site that are free and fully just there for your information um, from the importance of cord cutting with a companion uh, meditation to go with that that's on my website and my podcast and also now it is on my youtube channel uh, there are there's an ebook for empaths and a tested empath test it's called the essential empath guide there's an ebook about psychic attack and how to overcome negative energy and what was the other ebook uh i have four um it's racing right now <laughs> i can't think but anyway, um, I have four very important, even though I can't remember the other one, ebooks and um, lots of meditations um, that I've been doing for years now, but especially the ones that have come out here in the last uh, week or so, or, or since the new moon actually, are really potent, really healing. Those are also for free here on YouTube, on my podcast as well. Um, very deep healing, self-healing from healing the money wound, clearing abundance blocks, getting in touch and loving the body, integrating and healing the connection with your um, inner child and, um, and more is coming. So I invite you to check all of that out. I might be bringing that up in your reading. You don't know. We don't know because it's just kind of been the theme with all the self-healing stuff and clearing energy so we can move on. And this month of, uh, how was that October? Of February, interesting, of February is, um, or has been very, very intense. Same thing with, with January. January was like this kind of void month, really super like we were just living every day on some type of earthquake going on since we were just landing into this new year. Um, and then, um, this two month, this February month has been about kind of stabilizing the energy, feeling into where we are right now, um, getting a whole bunch of incoming light and energies coming in for us, healing channelings that I brought in through those meditations, all of those eBooks. Um, well, some of those eBooks, they, they, they come from my website and from articles that I wrote in the past, but some of them are just, um, it's uh, like the psychic attack negative. Oh, the other ones, the spiritual war. How could I forget? the light, the dark, and the spiritual war, and how that affects your energy, and that is a real thing, so wish it wasn't, wish I had a magic wand, make evil, and the dark side, and the spiritual war not be a thing, but it's a thing, it's definitely a thing, the more you know about it, the stronger and more empowered you are, it's not about being in fear, it's about being in the know, and being in power, so um, don't listen to the people who say that there's no such thing as darkness or the dark side and there is no spiritual war and it's all light and rainbows and all that good stuff because you can look at the world and see that there's definitely darkness and things that drive that darkness and the dark side and um, to say that it doesn't exist is very irresponsible. And I always see the Trojan horse, the Trojan horse just coming on in. It's like saying, oh, you don't exist. Um, darkness or narcissists or people who take advantage of you or things that are that put you under psychic attack or take your energy. Really, that doesn't exist. OK, well, then we'll just let everything in. Everything is awesome. Everything is good for us. And I think just logically, we know that's not true. 
So anyway, so that ebook is um, very informative, very to the point. It is, it, it does cut straight to the heart of things, but that's what we need right now. We need the truth. The truth is what we need to, to know for ourselves, to get in touch with our souls, with our spirits, with who we work with, what this whole thing is that we're doing here on this planet, on this beautiful planet, Mother Earth. Now I'm speaking of which, I also channel her and work with her in my healings. Um, she's very much a sentient being and uh, interacts with us. She came to me a few years ago and said, we're going to work together healing people. I had no idea what that meant, um, but she showed me and it's been magical ever since. And so, so this month has been the Stargate from 2 to 2 to to 212, we had Mercury retrograde, the Aquarius stellium, um, the the new moon on the 11th, and then 10 or 11 days later, we had the portal on the 22nd, we just had a couple of days ago. And of course, we're leading up to this full moon in Virgo, in Pisces season, and that's all this energy for healing and getting in touch with ourselves and, and clearing energy and taking inventory of what we're doing. And that's kind of been the theme for the for the science so far just different aspects and in ways and what's coming in so anyway my dear gemini the twins thank you for joining me again thank you for being here i really appreciate you being guided here I do connect with your guides and guardians. So if you were guided here, most likely there's a reason and something or a lot of this message will resonate for you. Um, again, I do private reads and I, I offer private reads in a lot of different ways on my website and also healing, different healing um, packages, very, very deep healing packages, no matter what you choose and ascension coaching and all that good stuff for empaths and light workers. And with all of that, said thank you gemini for hanging in there um like i said these have been deep dives what i've been chosen or guided to do was to get all of my tarot and oracle decks out so i have eight tarot or sorry eight oracle decks five tarot decks uh, which for some people isn't much at all but that's what i have this is what i've been guided to over the years it's a potent blend of tarot and oracle cards that I use. I work, like I said, with the angels, the archangels, the fae, the fairy realm, Gaia herself, galactics, the dragons, and of course, your own spirit guides, yours, mine, and ours, right? We're all connected. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just tune in, Gemini, to what decks we're going to be using for your read. Well, first off, we've been starting off with Moonology, the Moonology Oracle, just because, of course, it is, I probably always use Moonology. It's new to me, but I love it, and um, it's a full moon read, so why would we, um, why wouldn't we use it, right? So the Moonology Oracle, let's see what else, another, another uh, pretty much every time, or every time, I should say, every single time, the Archangel Oracle. I'm feeling the Hidden Worlds Oracle, Gemini, love the Hidden Worlds Oracle, ready for some really deep messages with those Hidden World, with the Hidden Worlds Oracle and the messages there. And the Fairy, Heart of Fairy, I should say, sorry, Heart of Fairy. I have the Fairy Oracle and the Heart of Fairy by Brian Froud to, oh my goodness, uh, to very potent, magical, highly coveted um, Oracle decks that I gotta be honest with you, some people get rid of pretty quick because this, re this deck really opens you up to the fairy worlds and the beings within the, fa within the fairy, um, well, the fairy, dimension, I should say, in, in their little world <laughs> within, the, within, within, um, anyway, it's very potent, they're very potent, really awesome, uh, oracle, oracle cards, I was guided to, so what do we have here, a bunch of oracle, moonology, uh, archangel, 
Hidden Worlds and the Fairy Oracle. Next, let's get into Tarot. The Tarot, we're being that way about it. Uh, we're going to work with the Light Sears Tarot. That has been a theme. It's also a new deck for me, and I really dig it. Uh, and the Toth Tarot. The Crowley Toth Tarot. And that's it. Okay, let's get it going. First, we're going to get into Oracle, and then we're going to get into Tarot. <laughs> tarot. Um, no, I don't like you there. You're like I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get it situated here. Every time it's different because I'm doing different, different cards for each week. Okay, there we go. Leave it at that. Let's get into Moonology first. I like starting there with this full moon reading. Officially, Gemini. Thank you, thank you again for being here. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell so you are aware of um, new videos. And um, I kind of have my fingers in lots of different things. So this channel um, has meditations, energy updates, tarot and oracle reads. Um, uh, it's going to have more art or art on it since I've been guided to really step in and Start working with my art. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Go and look at the other stuff that I have and decide that you want to be a part of this growing community. This is a pretty new channel for me. I have another channel, but I decided to cut cords with that channel for the most part and start a new one this past year. And it's, it's feeling good. Okay. Have faith in your dreams, Gemini. In your dreams. What have you been dreaming about, Gemini? Hmm. Let's, let's see. Confidence is your key to success. Oh, I love it. This is the new moon in Leo. We have the, uh, the waxing crescent moon with this have faith in your dreams. And confidence is your key to success. That's very true. What's next? You're jumping right into my fingers. What do you need to release? Oh, we're getting right to it right now. Interesting visual we got going on here. Right at the start, look at these twins. <laughs> Let me see if I can hide. Okay, there we go. Okay. So interesting. We've got these, these moons on either side of this new moon. We've got the crescent moon and the waxing moon. What do you need to release? So a big theme, like I said, cord cutting. Please go and check out that ebook, The Importance of Cord Cutting. It's free on my website. And the meditation that goes along with it, there's actually, two, there's a meditation, but there's a, another podcast, podcast number 82, and the updated guided med meditation number 104. That's immediately what I looked, what I thought of when I saw what do you need to release? This has been an ongoing theme for a while now, actually, since the beginning of the year for anybody that I work with in, um, in healing, uh, for the, for my Evolve Now program, it's been like, okay, but before we get there, let's, let's do some cord cutting. And that's a self healing thing that you do. You do that on your own, but, uh, So it's like we've got this have faith in your dreams card saying what is under the surface or up here um, that you've been thinking about that maybe got put on hold or totally stopped, maybe because of the pandemic, maybe because of the pandemic, you've been kind of like thrown in a whole new situation, which has happened for a lot of people. That's not <laughs> that odd. But it feels like things have just been kind of put on hold here, and maybe you're um, you're just apprehensive about stuff. But to really tap in with that Leo energy, that Leo energy, new moon in Leo, confidence is your key to success. It's like you have you you all the components that is needed. It's just timing, I'm feeling. And the timing for getting to a point where you can do some real deep healing on yourself. 
um, through, through self-guided meditations or working with somebody like me directly or whatever else you do, um, it's time and you're ready to release. It's just figuring out what and how and putting it into practice. And so that's what this full moon is about. So you are to tap in with that, with the full, this full moon in Virgo energy that really says, Hey, it's time for healing. It's time to think about yourself and what you need to move. It's like running a marathon and then running a marathon. You don't run a marathon and then run a marathon. You run a marathon and then you rest and you recover and you have massages and you go into the shower and the sauna and the steam room and and you and you you know you go through this self care thing to release the energy of what you've just done and it feels like that here. Um, and okay, what do we have here? Conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse whoa very intense energies here gemini oh boy okay so you are like primed to release energy right now is what i'm getting you're just like ready to pop and let it all go um and get into balance i really feel it's like i really want to bring this together and kind of change the way I've been feeling, especially for Gemini. I feel like you're already kind of this way and that way. You have your true sides. You have your that whole thing going on, which I think is really cool. I love Gemini. I love Gemini. Um, I really do. Uh, the the twin the twin Gemini energy always to me is so is so important for uh, just the collective with soulmate energy and twin flame energy and all of that because like innately the the twins uh, kind of have a pulse on that kind of union that like complete opposite but totally enmeshed and together like that I'm so like needing to be out and being adventurous and then like needing to be in and doing my own thing and thinking about what I'm doing and um uh, and being really affectionate and having my own space and just like the way that they swing back and forth but not in it well it can be very moody but it's more about feeling energy which which is I'm not a Gemini in any, in, I'm sure I have Gemini somewhere. I can't really remember right now, but, but I, I feel, I feel that I get that just being a high level empath that, uh, that that's, that's kind of, and Gemini is it's like, is every Gemini an empath? I kind of think so. I mean, it's not true, but it's just kind of a joke, like Pisces too, um, because of their ability to tune into the different frequencies that they're around so easily. I really do feel though that that uh, that Gemini's have that innate quality, um, and if you and I feel like I'm definitely talking it to an empath and a light worker, multiple empaths and light workers here, um, Gemini, because. Those are really the people who find me. <laughs> Let's just be real. Um, find me and stay here and get it, um, or because I get you, empath, light worker. Your dreams are your visions, are prophetic, are thinking about like destined type stuff. So it's this drive towards this is what I the kind of thing I gotta do in my life. And maybe even if it's like totally different than what you used to do. So that kind of maybe like, where do I get off on this? I don't even, I'm totally new. I've never done this before. Well, it's a soul-based thing. So you're very, very qualified. Okay. Um, and what you need to release is so you can have those conclusions so you can move on and so be patient with yourself dear gemini over these next few days and weeks going in and through march because um there will you you need this time you need the patience with this time to to get 
into the mode to know what you're doing, to plan your healing, to plan your meditations. It's very important. Um, one of the things that, that came up with Capricorn and then Leo, and now you, Gemini, would be, I think I'm just going to put this out there for everybody. I think I'm just going to do a totally separate um, a totally separate video. But anyway, uh, it, it may, we're going to get into the Archangel Oracle. I'm going to do some clearing here. But what that is to do a couple of things. One thing is to write down two words, I surrender, really tap into I surrender. That's releasing, letting go, giving your, your cares, concerns, worries, anxieties, fears to mother, father, God, the universe, your guardian angels, your, uh, your, uh, all of them. <laughs> Forgot where I left off. But, but, but everybody. Everybody. Hey! Jack? Don't be an asshole. It's okay. It's okay. He's spelling cats. <laughs> okay, starting over. <laughs> um, that sucks. Oh well, it is what it is. Cats are cats. Um, of course, I lost my train of thought. Uh, you're okay. So everybody, I think I was getting there just so, um, getting yourself, I'm going to start here because I'm not sure where I was. I got very distracted. These two cats that got into it. Um, one that was very dramatic and didn't need to be in the other one who took full advantage should be an asshole about it. So, you know, cats. uh, <laughs> Getting into this new energy is about is about thinking on. Um, I just think it stops. We're good. Uh, is think thinking about. Oh, I know where I was. Okay, let's start here. <laughs> let's start here. Oh my goodness, because now I'm just like, where are all this is coming to me? Okay, so I surrender. And then very, that's it, just I surrender. But on top of that, separately, on a completely separate piece of paper, so I surrender is all by itself. And then you're going to have, um, you're going to think about your concerns. So let's not call them worries because worry or anxieties or stress at all is very just concern. Like, what am I concerned about? Um, and just write it out. And you're going to take that with you into the new moon. I'm sorry, the full moon. And um, I'll put in some more information about, about this. And I'm going to do a meditation as well. So they may be interlinked. But regardless of that, um, and if you, you know, don't circle back here or whatever, um, write it all out, read it out loud, state and declare it that you are surrendering the concerns of all of these things, turning them over to your guides, your guardians, especially your guardian angels and your archangels and Gaia for transmutation. Just to let that energy go because it is time, just, it's time to release what's been inside and what's like up here that you're like thinking about and worried about. There's some stuff I feel that it's just kind of global stuff or even politics or neighborhood stuff or family stuff, you know, things, a lot of stuff that doesn't have to do 
with you very, very personally. So kind of sift through that. What is taking up your energy? What are you tapped into? What's, what are you consuming um, that is on your mind and taking up space? Here we go. Relationship harmony with Raguel. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Look at that. Nice. So if there has been like rifts or periods of not speaking to somebody, maybe it's a maternal thing or somebody that you relate to as a mother, grandmother type person, or just a really close female friend or a divine feminine. Um, yeah. Uh, and, and if and I'm also feeling on the other and another way, this could be um, somebody who, you know, maybe there's just been drifting with you in your relationship, your, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, maybe your best friend or roommate, and you guys have just kind of been not really connecting. Maybe even like the lovemaking has, has gone way down or just hasn't, there hasn't been that spark or whatever. Expect for that, especially if you do clearing and healing, um, and especially if you guys do it together. And I do offer a couple's one, by the way, but um, aside from that, the more of this self-care and working in and on your energy um, is really going to help all of your relationships, but definitely your love and, and sex relationships, love making relationships. <laughs> um, and I feel like a new, a new phase is coming in. Like, like spring is like really going to be, it's really going to be like, wow, we're this is good new energy, like opening up all the windows to your home and letting all this fresh air and just going, oh, it feels so good. <laughs> like that sort of thing. All is well with Jeremy L. I love this card. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. Hidden blessings that you soon will understand will come into view. It just takes some time to see the big picture, to see everything. So relationship harmony and all is well. That sounds really good. I'm even feeling um, and picking up on some, um, you know, baby making, some, some pregnancy thing going on here. Next, comfort. Comfort with, I think it's Azrael. Yeah, Azrael, I am with you in your time of need, helping you, uh, helping your heart to heal. So if you, um, um, and I feel for some of you, this could also, we could be talking about um, actually losing a loved one, like they've crossed over or this being a time. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> not fun. Um, yeah, this is not me. <laughs> <laughs> this is somebody else's grief and sorrow coming up um, this time of the year. Maybe, maybe um, this could have been an early COVID thing even, and it's still very, very raw because we're still in it. Um, so please call on Azriel, Gabriel, Michael, Raphael, um, Haniel, Jophiel to help you um, comfort you, guide you, um, help you see and feel that all is well, that if whatever you lost is really right here. And the clearer you get within yourself and start, you know, processing through the pain, you're going to be like, whoa, I can really connect to you. This is really, really cool. So it's kind of like they're, uh, it's kind of like they're right behind those trees. They're like, I'm here. I really want to connect with you. And that they have been, they've been kind of, they've been guiding you and that's pretty awesome. Wow. This, this kind of thing doesn't usually happen. So definitely picking up on, I do mediumship. So I, I, I'm, I don't want to get too deep into this because this is just like one person's or a couple people's situation um, that is going to be um, 
I think feeling this right now, but just kind of across the board, um, those souls that have crossed over and are crossing over with COVID are really staying so close to the veil for their people to help them through this spiritual transition, acting as a catalyst or one of the catalysts to um, the great awakening here on a personal and global level for for their for humanity for their brothers and sisters so you know uh just taking a moment here to whew, uh send love and peace and um, gratefulness gratitude to, to these beautiful souls who have taken on this mission of love and unity um, to really pull Gaia and, and all of us into a new paradigm. Okay. With that said, <laughs> let's take one more card, kind of lighten the mood here. <sighs> Leadership with Gabriel. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others really stepping into messenger status um i feel that this this is a direct message for us earth angels to really get through the last bits or the be very beginning bits this thing is kind of crazy um, <laughs> i mean i like it but it's kind of much right um, the beginning some people i feel like you're it's like i'm kind of starting out starting to bring in all this energy of spiritual awakening and really sorting it through but it's clicking and it's making sense and now i'm like oh my gosh this has been the problem and why i felt so out of place and not like just like I love, I love nature. I love Gaia, but I also feel like I don't belong here at the same time. So many of us have felt like that. Um, so kind of speaking directly to fellow earth angels here, no matter what your, your sign is, but definitely Gemini, um, really, uh, Number one, it's time to tap in with your guardian angels more so you can be guided more. Us as earth angels, we need our guardian angels. Think of it this way. You go to a foreign land and you don't know anybody, nobody knows you, and you don't know the language and they don't know your language. It's just gibberish and everybody is it's just very different, very strange. Um, or you go to the same place, but you have a translator and somebody who knows how to navigate everything and tells you about everybody and uh, reminds you, you've actually been here before, you just don't remember. So I can clue you in on these things, make you remember these things that you kind of forgot. That's what it's like um, being really in tune with your guardian angels and um, your number one guardian angel, your miracle angel, your healing angel, and of course, the archangels that are always at your disposal that come in, that are called in either by your guardian angel or you can do it yourself. You're always encouraged to take leadership for your own connections, your own spiritual spiritual connections is what I'm hearing. It's time for you to assume your leadership role, to assume your leadership role for you and your tribe, because we need to be out in front of our spirit tribe so they can be like, okay, they're ready. And then they come up above us and help us and connect with us and then lead us. But we really, they try and try and try to get us to, they awaken us, they help us, they poke at us, they throw synchronicities and all sorts of good stuff to get our attention. But at some point, we're the ones who have to take the reins on that jump on the horse and say let's go and then the troops are behind you so it's like i tell people when they come to me for healings you're the captain i'm the navigator because it's your life your healing your mission your everything your purpose your your everything it's not mine it's yours so i you lead me and i assist you in where you're going that's how, that's how it should work. And on every level, spiritual, etherical, uh, emotional, physical, energetic, all of it put together. All right, guys, we're going to leave it there with leadership for your own self and being an example to others. Just lead by example in your spirituality. <sighs> Ooh. 
Love it. Okay. Next. Where we got? We're going to the Hidden Worlds Oracle. This is our Hidden Worlds Oracle by Lucy Cavendish. This is uh, an awesome, awesome deck really gets us in tune with the other worlds, with who is reaching out to us. Very, very deep and spiritual deck here. I love it. I have three of Lucy's decks, the Wild Wisdom of the Fairies, the Dragon Fae, and this one. Um, <laughs> you're not the one to smoke. I know you're going to be like, seriously, you just got it to stop. <laughs> I know, what can I say? But when I need it, I need it. Okay, and I felt like I needed it. Okay, it's just <laughs> got all this got all this air energy going in here, Gemini. <laughs> all right. I always feel like I have to clear this deck a lot for some reason, and it, I might have to shuffle and shuffle and shuffle before I'm either guided to pull or a card pops. It's interesting. Um, and I've already like cleared before we came on. I've already connected and cleared and done all this good stuff. Um, all right, let's see. Feeling this one right here. Resurrection. Oh, wow. I love this card. Resurrection. Come back, rebirth, renewal. What did we say? What do we need to release? And that's actually how oh, funny. That is the name of my my new healing service is renew, renew now, and renew now deluxe. How funny. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's read directly from the book for resurrection card thirty two. Oh, there we go. Page 98 and 99. Great numbers here. Gemini. Love those 99s for the twins. Ah, it's exactly at three o'clock here on um, three o'clock on the 24th. 224. So we've got like, yeah, one, two, three, four. 3 2 resurrection. I don't know, just picking up on all these numbers here. So let's get to it. You are about to make a comeback after a difficult time. While you were a struggling friend, there were those in the hidden world who watched over you, even if it seemed that you must face it all alone. Throughout the times when you felt most abandoned, the watchers took the strands of your fate within their hands and began to weave together the broken threads and unraveled strands of your destiny. There may have been subtle moments where you noticed this work taking place, times when hope aligned upon you and you felt glad again to be here. Finally, now you have the strength to make the return to the life that you have longed for. All has been prepared for you and you have work to do in this lifetime, dear one. Good work, sacred work, loving work. It is time to begin again and feel the shimmering possibilities all about you. For there will be moments of serendipity and synchronicity where you will follow the intuitive prompts you receive from within and from those who have watched over you, your guardian angels, like we were talking about. The divine has watched over you and helped recreate you until now you are reborn within the same life, seeming to be the same person, but so very much more than you felt you were before. The soul contracts have been recreated. You have been freed and there will now come a realization that the wholeness and the beauty you have so long searched for have been inside you all along. We just need to peel off the layers that keep those energies separate from you. You need not die to be reborn in this lifetime. That's true. Been there, done that myself. <laughs> it's a thing. You can be reborn in this lifetime. It's so awesome. But we must let the things that kill the spirit fall away and give them no more energy, like cutting cords and doing healings. 
This now is your purpose to preserve the beauty you have discovered and keep the joy of the spirit alive. Illumination. I am being reborn. My old self is no more and I am changing into the me I am meant to be. So good. So it's basically like saying, look at how we can connect to our divine um, sides and counterparts and bring down that energy into us. Resurrection, rebirth. Definitely what needs to happen. And you need to drive that train full speed ahead, Gemini, because it is time. The energies are opening up with this full moon. I see so much energy coming down with it. Um, conclusions are within reach and you have so much support on the other side, you know, tapping back into what we were talking about before me trying not to get emotional, but like your your loved ones on the other side, this, you know, want to help you resurrect. It's kind of like I'm hearing, maybe they can't come back to life, but you can start a new life and they are going to help you on the other side. Not just the people that you knew in this lifetime, the souls that you knew in this lifetime that may have crossed over, but the ones from previous lifetimes, they're, you know, part of this, part of this as well. You could tap in and, and get their divine knowledge and inspiration and love and support because it's definitely there. A lot of it is there. And, and it's like, you, you've known that, but at the same time, there's, there has been times where it's been really hard to kind of feel it, see it, remember it, uh, because this reality has been really, really difficult. But let me tell you something, the more that you tap into all of that, the less difficult it is. And even when challenges come up, you're so on this higher register frequency that, and they keep reminding you, don't go there, don't go there. So as soon as you start to dip, they take you right back out um, rather than, and you're just in the muck and the shit because you know there's just chaos and drama and, and fear, deception, lies, manipulation, sh shame, guilt, judgment, all that stuff uh, that we can really get into so easily, whether for ourselves or for other circumstances, situations, people, uh, any of that stuff. And all of that stuff can be helped with cord cutting and healing. A hundred, a hundred, a hundred percent, 360, believe it, just believe it. And, and if you're into working on it, you can certainly do it, take control and, and get, and get in that. Okay, next, the Heart of Fairy Oracle. Heart of Fairy Oracle. This is definitely intense, deep reading. Ooh, Heart of Fairy Oracle. Let's see what we get, guys. Again, I want some fire here. The smoke with my Sage of Palo Santo. In case you're wondering, if I forgot to say what I've got here. I've got Sage Palo Santo rose oil, um, just a bunch of different stuff here to clear energy. So let's bring in and welcome in the fairies and their messages. Very potent energy here with the Fae. Um, like I mentioned before, they don't come around and talk to just anybody. Let me just say that right off of the bat. Um, and I mean that sincerely. <laughs> I really, really do. It's, it's not, they're not, you know, opening up the doors that for everybody. So, so just hearing from the Fae is an indication that you're ready to, you know, when you're connected with them, that you're ready to, uh, level up or that you have been or maybe you've always been connected to the thing oh the song card 59 the song oh this is beautiful i talk about the soul song quite a bit 
Um, but let's see here, card number 59. And this is part of the archetypes for that is just like our journey. So it says the journey here, let me see, let me show you. So there's tricksters, the consorts, it's like the archetypes of life and in relationships who we, who we are or who we deal with and what we come up against or have to deal with in, um, in life, relationships, love and all that good stuff. So what it says for, let me just read, the journey. There are 16 journey cards taken in order. They do indeed take the reader on a journey into the heart of fairy and back to the edge where the journey begins. But in taking that journey, we find that the heart of fairy encompasses everything. These cards also stand for the stages in life's journey and will give insight into where the reader stands on this journey, depending on the cards drawn and where they appear in the reading. And it says here in fairy, each new step in every turned corner may get us lost. At the same time, each turn may present a revelation, gaining us insight into a landscape redolent with emotion and meaning. Very true. Okay, here we go. Blessings of the day. Oh, that's not the right card. Here we go. The song. Attentive awareness, hidden energy. Listen with your heart. Card number 59. What is the song? What does it mean? The song is energy and vibration. Everything has its own energy and everything has its own vibration or song. In fairy, as we travel the roads that spiral inward, we are aware of the energy of everything around us. Because we are in the other realm, it is easy to feel the energy of rocks and trees, flowers, and grasses. When we travel in our own human world, we may find it difficult to find any energy at all. Oh, excuse me. Whew. Any energy at all in the buildings, pavement, and stunted vegetation that surrounds us, but it is there nonetheless. No matter where we are in a beautiful country landscape or a cityscape of steel and glass, the energy is still there, flowing through and around everything, connecting everything in a harmony of song. If you draw this card, it may be time to stop and listen. Put your hand on something close to you and be aware of what you feel. Awareness and connection are so important. Relationships falter when connections are lost and energies blocked. If you feel that a relationship is stuck, try listening for the song of the other person. Pay attention. That is one of the most important lessons that Barry has to teach us. Pay attention. So true and the energy will start to flow again. So paying attention also means thank you, thank you, thank you, beautiful Faye, that lovely message for the song. And, and paying attention is so important because that means you're, if you're paying attention, you're tuned with yourself, with your own vibration. So then you can feel what else is there that is, not of your your vibration um so that that at the very basics of it is so important and then so anything that comes into your vibration that that changes that that causes a change in your physicality and your mentality in your energy um you can pay attention to so you know, it's like driving down the street and you're all by yourself and all of a sudden, you know, somebody pulls up next to you. You're, you know, there's new energy there. Now you have to take that into account. They weren't there before. Now they're driving next to you. So it's just a different thing. And so when, when we're empaths and light workers and we've taken on so much of, of outside energy, it's hard to differentiate. So we need to, so this is telling us again, Everything has a vibration. Everything is energy, your energy. There's energy inside of you that doesn't need to be there, shouldn't be there. There may even be attachments that, that are 
outside that are not normally you that are attached to you. That's a thing too, most definitely. And we remove those things, you know, when a person is ready, those things can come out and do, they do. Um, I removed several of them from several people and, uh, and it's always a very loving thing, but uh, so this is, and a lot of times people will say, you know, I feel like there's something attached to me or in me. It makes me, it acts up at times, makes me feel a certain way. I, I don't feel good. It either, I mean, there's different ways and, and I won't get all into that right now, but, <clears throat> but one of my, my last, one of my last clients, she couldn't sing the way she would, she, she could normally sing. She couldn't have her song because she had, she had one actually in her throat. She didn't know it until we got into there, into the healing. And, and then I, I saw, we saw it, we got rid of it with Archangel Raphael, but, but yeah, she was like, that's, yeah, that's what it was like. So when I saw this and I saw the song and the energy and all this, and it really is like that. It's like when we have energies that are, uh, you know, different or outside of us, they change our frequency too. So that's why we're always told, like, be mindful of your energy, be mindful of your vibration, how are you feeling, where you're resonating at, what are you thinking about? Are you happy? Are you, are you content? Are you frustrated? Are you anxious? Are you sad? Are you depressed? Um, you know, all of these different things and what are possible, you know, just layers and layers and layers and layers of energy that is, you know, maybe yours, but it could be a lot of layers of other people that you took on. That's how it was for me. And that's why I was so sick for so long um, before I was guided to understand all this stuff and, and heal myself and clear myself of the energy that was keeping me so down and so sick. Um, literally disabled with fibromyalgia because of it. And once my guides told me, hey, that's not your energy. You're actually in really good shape. We just need to clear you out. You have to understand this on a certain level so you can take care of it. And then they showed me all this stuff. I was like, oh, okay, that tracks because I do feel like I have a lot of energy, but I also feel like I have a million pound weights all over me and there's nothing I can do about it. They're like, well, it's true, you do, but you, but you can do something about it. And so that's kind of like what this is here. When you know, you pay attention, you can take care of the problem. So it's kind of like you have, you know, a huge pipe bursting in your basement, and you're just do 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 up here. Meanwhile, you know, meanwhile you've got this intense chaos going on that eventually is going to cause major problems. Um, and you know, you just don't know. So anyway, okay, let's move on to the tarot. We're going to work with our light seers tarot and then qualify and clarify with our toth tarot, um, which is a little bit different, uh, but we'll get into it here. Let me just move this stuff here. Okay. Let's get into it with the tarot, Gemini. I'm really excited for this, actually. Um, given what we've already gotten, uh, resurrection, new beginning, it's all about energy. It's all about getting in balance. So I really want to see what we've got here for you, Gemini. Again, thank you for being here. I hope you're enjoying this time. Um, I really enjoy getting messages and helping people with their guides and guardians and their energy. It is something I'm just ridiculously passionate about. Okay, the moon card. Oh, Gemini. Wow. Coming out with the moon card right away. And then the eight of wands. Are we straight up or in reverse? I'm feeling we're straight up with this. Straight up with eight of wands right after the moon. Next card, the ten of wands. Get go. We're getting going. We're moving. We have all this energy. Oh, I'm feeling so good about this. And Knight of Swords, look at this. So this is our Gemini taking off, getting ready, just. Mm. 
Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse. And Two of Cups straight up. Gemini, oh my goodness. Hopefully you're smiling. I'm smiling. I like these cards a lot for you, Gemini. Feeling really good. <sighs> okay. So I really feel with this moon card coming in, card, this first card, honestly, this is the first time the moon card from this deck has come up. Um, it had the moon card has come up in the angel tarot in the in my Leo reading that I just did, and maybe one other reading, but this is the first time it's come up. Um, from this deck for these readings, so we have the 18, the moon, eight, the wands, 10, the wands, knight of swords, nine, nine of pentacles. Queen of, uh, sorry, page of pentacles, sorry, whoa, let me start over. <laughs> page of pentacles, seven of cups, and two of cups. So this moon, this moon that we're talking about, this energy going on right now, it is really going to take you under into a place that, uh, deep, 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 deep Gemini, and really bring you some um, epiphanies, revelations, excitement, like you're, you're coming into a whole new world kind of thing. No, we didn't get the world card, but that's what this feels like. Like, oh my goodness, I can see stuff. And it makes more sense now. Like all of a sudden the light chart got turned on and you're like, oh, okay. So with that, I know some stuff and I can get moving into in a direction. Um, and that's what it feels like. It may even be this reading like, oh my gosh, I didn't know this stuff. And now, and it kind of sets you off um, into, into more. So that's where I feel we're going with this. And then we have this Knight of Swords, um, really feeling Gemini energy, you know, hit big time with this, with this air, with this Knight of Swords, getting ready to go. It's like, it's like both of your sides here and both and you and your guides here um, getting ready to go and move quickly on that motorcycle. You see that motorcycle right there. Um, Nine of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles um, in reverse. So you have both the moon, let's check this out. You have, but these were, this one was on top of this one. You have the moon. And so she's like under, and then you have this nine of pentacles and she's like under, um, if that makes sense. The way that you can see this like upside down kind of thing. Um, and I really feel like this moon is going to really kind of activate um, a lot of past life and like, epiphanies, you know, deep wisdom. We have the owl right here. Um, and so this card always comes up for me um, in readings and, and whether it's right side up or upside down in reverse, depending what's going on around it, um, it really tells me that you're you're in the process, even maybe more subconsciously with it in reverse and maybe more consciously with it right side up. But with you, it's kind of like, again, going deep and getting into the recesses of the mind, the heart, the soul, um, even what's encoded in the body for you to start to remember and activate. Um, the page of, of pentacles always, you know, with the, that big old pentacle right there, um, and the way that she's standing on the, uh, on this like mandala thing, she's like almost floating, uh, really, really speaks to our Merkaba, our, our soul, our mind, soul, body, spirit connection, and you really getting into that. Again, this card is above this card to so really like, uh, sending through that energy to, to bring the, the lower into the upper. I'm feeling the seven of cups right next to this two of cups. 
and it's in reverse. And right next to this page of pentacles. Maybe um, this could be talking about restless sleep. Maybe you're having a hard time sleeping, even especially with this full moon. You may expect some hard with like a hard time sleeping or being up at night, really thinking about stuff. So just don't fight it. If you're up at night, if you're either it's hard to go to sleep or you wake up in the middle of the night, just be up. Get up and and get. Don't like be in that in between. Um, just get up and um, meditate. Meditate. Connect with your guides. Connect with your guides and guardians at that time. It's a perfect time um, to do spiritual work like that because it's quiet or writing. I'm hearing writing, Gemini. Always feels good to you. Um, getting thoughts out, whether it's writing with a pen or, or, or pencil or whatever with paper or typing or even on your phone, um, I would prefer it to be like on the computer or writing, writing, um, but whatever works for you. And then we have this two of cups. So really reinforcing this coming together of your two sides, like in a way that you haven't before, again, rebirthing, resurrection, paying attention to your soul song, all that good stuff is really really very uh, like you're just ready for this you're you're it's gonna be coming up soon you're just like really really ready to feel better you're just really ready to feel better now how else to put it you're just like oh my god i'm so ready i'm so excited for this full moon i'm so excited for this new month and these energies coming in it really feels like i can take some deep breaths, get into myself, get serious about my spirituality, my connections, you know, stuff like that. Like you're just like all in, like you're just ready to dive into these energies with this moon. And this is the full moon reading. Okay. Prince of cups coming over that full moon princess of discs coming over that eight of wands, ace of wands coming over that 10 of wands. The lovers coming over that Knight of Swords, luxury over that Nine of Pentacles. That tracks with the Four of Cups. Um, uh, three of Cups here with abundance over your Page of Pentacles. And what do we have over your Seven of Cups? Princess of Swords over your Seven of Cups. And Queen of Swords in reverse over your Two of Cups. Wow, 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 wow. So we're bringing in all this water energy, all this healing energy with all of these cups. So we have Four of Cups. We have Three of Cups. Um, we have, what, didn't we have more cups? <laughs> I thought we had more cups. But we have luxury and abundance over um, that. So the nine of pentacles. This is um, I know we are normally reversed. Now remember, this is like riches of the the unknown. Your your soul your soul riches and then luxury right above that. So there's so much, look at that energy. So much pouring in. So it's like to see this as like spiritual luxury, like like spiritual opulence, spiritual royalty kind of thing abundance right next to it with this page of pentacles more of the same i'm hearing more of the same the, this four and this three coming together to make a seven seven is a very divine number very much connects you connects you with your divinity and the divine ones that are connected with you we have princes of swords over seven of cups and we have queen of swords over the two of cups so there's that real intense gemini energy with the with the with the swords energy so princess of cups let me have you take a look at that that's princess of cups and she is just ready to take on this energy it's like this intense energy coming right at her from the sun coming down upon her and then take a look at queen of swords she has <laughs> she has 
slayed some demons. She is so purposeful in her movement. She was in reverse. I'm just hearing there's a lot that's going to be uncovered over time to get things on a full straight up kind of to fully bring in this queen of swords energy gemini male or female whatever you are though um this divine feminine of um, upper you know the the swords representing logic and thinking and all that good stuff really balancing out this cup these two of cups and, and in this deck is just always like higher self and your and your human self coming together. I know this a lot of times represents like uh, romance and that kind of thing. Um, I really feel like this is more about you integrating with yourself, integrating with your higher self. Um, we do have the lovers here with the Knight of Swords. So to me, it's like, like I said, when I saw that Knight of Swords, it's like it's you and your and your guardians. Um, pulling you uh, in a direction and you're going and the lovers is saying you're like feeling that energy that that because the lovers is about union the lovers is about coming together working together whether it's a lot like lovers lovers or friends or partnerships and stuff like that so we definitely have that coming together energy there um, Ace of Wands, Ace of, whoopsie, Ace of Wands over the 10, Ace of Wands, major energy over this 10 of Wands. So really adding fuel to this fire to get you going, Gemini. You're just like, yes, and let's not forget, we already right next to it had the, had the Eight of Wands. And over the Eight of Wands, we have the Princess of Discs. So while you're going to be getting all this super high level energy, divine downloads from this full moon, you're also just going to be feeling really grounded about it, air sign, which is going to feel really good because you have this energy with this princess of cups here, to, I mean, sorry, princess of discs to really get in if you see this um, It's like a scepter right here. I'm getting my eye here on this scepter and it's pointing down into the ground because it's an, it's an earth sign and she's a princess of disc. So she's into the ground with the energy. So it's like taking these, taking these wands, uh, which is fire with your air and then grounding it with that princess of wands. Very powerful after the, the moon, that moon energy, that, that Pisces, Venus uh, energy with the Prince of Cups. So, so much water energy coming in, earth energy, fire energy, air energy. It's very balanced here. Really good for both sides of you, Gemini. Very, very good for, for both sides of you. And uh, and just a lot of these, this Cups, again, the seven, that's very important here to, to pay attention to. Wow. Okay. Well, what can we say? The takeaways here, Gemini, are about um, slowing it down, recognizing let's get back to the very beginning. Have faith in your dreams. So what you feel is like deep within you is definitely going to come out. You just are going to go through the motions. Your confidence is key to success of really stepping into this new world. Like I am here. Like when you go on vacation, you get off the plane where you've gotten wherever you're going. You're like, ha, we're here. You know, like that kind of thing. 
um, is what I'm seeing. What do you need to release? And it's kind of like continue with that thought. You're on vacation. What do people do on vacation? They go to the spa. They go hiking. They go. They go and do all of these things that make them feel really, really good. So it's like now that you're there, what do you need to release? So let's get back to that. And then conclusions are very, very close as well as you have very, very close helpers with your guides, your guardians, your guardian angels, and um, those who have crossed over very, very close to you um, and paying attention to your to the song of everything, which means you're so connected to energy, you really got to start paying attention to how this affects you, especially after this full moon, getting into the full moon and really taking leadership with your own self, your own world, back to that relationship harmony things coming into greater balance with relationship harmony. And just last but not least, let's just end with again, all is well. The very, very cherry on top of everything, you're in a position where everything is just clickety click clicking. You're right where you need to be. All is well on both sides of the veil. You can tap in and connect with yourself, your soul, your body, those that are connected to you on the other side at any time, which is also, again, your guides, your guardians, your angels, your archangels, always wanting to be part of your life and to help you just deeply. Um, okay, I guess that's it. I hope that this has been helpful for you, Gemini. It's a beautiful read filled with a lot of love and support and just energy towards your uh, rebirth and resurrection and healing and going forward. Again, please visit my website, thehealingbutterfly.org to see um, all the different resources there to help you on your journey. Um, and I hope that it does help you. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if this, uh, this reading, this video resonated with you. And um, with that said, have a beautiful full moon, infinite love and blessings. Don't forget the key is to create. I love you already. And always live in love. Bye for now, Gemini.